Hell man. What the hell man? I, I, I knew it was a bad idea, right? Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of 7 Days to Die Modded. We are playing Ravenhurst. Let's continue from my left off. Day 1, 6 p.m. We are in the roof of the PY where we will be spending the night. And yes, my friends, I am annoyed. Why am I annoyed? I will show you guys in a moment. But to show you, well, I can show you with the land claim block. It's easy to show. And I am annoyed. Why? Because everything on the rooftop, even over there, it is those kind of blocks that if I place something on the ground, it kind of feels like it is hovering, right? If I place the land claim block, look, look at this. Every single block on this rooftop, uh, it is kind of a half block. So if I place regular blocks or the easy way to solve this, it is to remove the roof or to also some shenanigans with the blocks. I don't like it. It will feel like everything is hovering, but I don't have any more time for this day one to be out and about trying to find new POIs. But uh, yeah, these won't do. So it's going to be just for the night. It is just for the night. So let's start with getting some bags. Well, don't break your leg, please. Oh, more zombos. So my friends, let me clear these remaining zombos and uh, move everything upstairs and, and go from there. There you go, my friends. Look how beautiful it is, right? It's it's the magic of the world of Ravenhurst. There you go. So next problem to be solved, I need storage. No, you guys probably, I haven't, I am recording back to back. I haven't yet seen the comments of the first episode, but you guys would be asking why I didn't yet loot this POI over here. Because if I loot the POI, I don't have anywhere to store my stuff. So yeah, we need we need some storage, some very basic storage, and that's what we will need to work on. Let me double check. Let me search this box. Can I pick up these kind of boxes? Let me search this construction box, and let's see if I can pick it up. Uh, okay, wow. If it was nails, my friends, can I pick you up? No. Can I bring you with me? Let me see. And it, it would be amazing, right? No, I got some paper. Sadly, it won't do. So we need trash bags, right? Trash bags or those regular bags? Because I'm already encumbered. I am eight... Eight slots encumbered. There is a bag up here, right? Oh, you bastards. No bag up here. So I will need, besides smacking some zombie faces, I will need to do some... some trash bag hunting, right? It should be a lot of fun. And let's move a little bit, kind of move slowly down the road. So that um, I can get the feel of this small town. Because I do want to move. I don't like uh, staying on that roof. It's a good POI, but uh, well, I cannot place the blocks. So that's annoying. So I, I need to find a house down the road. This one, it's too close to the trailer, my friends. It will spawn zombies throughout the night. I will get some the boss zombies and whatnot and I am so close to the trader that they will be wrecking the whole trader and I cannot do anything about it so we need to be close but I cannot be too close right Oh, 
Okay, my friends, two good options. Grumpy's pub or the Aldo's cabinet. I do like the rooftop of the Grumpy's pub, even if I'm trying to remember. I don't know if that POI has a bear or at least some dogs in the backyard. Uh, we need to be careful about it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a better choice than sadly this one here. It will take a lot of effort and it's Raveners, it's even worse. I don't have the tools to kind of remove the roof and make it a little bit of a flat area to work from. So yeah. I will have to move. So let's go upstairs and get ready to spend the night. I haven't looted anything here. The, the lack of storage, it's real on this on, on this on this mod. Am I too, too encumbered to, to the jump? I, I am an expert parkour, as you guys know already. No, I don't know if it is me or if it is um, the difficulty of, of the parkour course. Here we are, my friends. We are kind of safe. I do hope so. I did find... Where, where did I find? Five filthy trash bags. Should be enough. And I am ready to spend the night. A little bit of sorting, eating and drinking. We can together spend the, the two amazing skill points that we have. Which will go into strength. Actual T-Rex. And one more point available. We'll go into cardio. There you go. Beautiful, and we are out of point. Okay, my friends, standing really still, not even doing any sorting. I'm seeing a very weird combo over there. I do know that we have crazy ass bosses throughout the night. I'm nowhere in position to go out and check them out and uh, yeah you should also couple first couple of nights well first and throughout your playthrough of Ravenhurst you should uh, be very careful on how you spend your night because nights are crazy in Ravenhurst I will just stay here on my cozy spot and wait out the night until 4 a.m. Okay, my friends, while I keep my eye out on, on that zombie over there, let's talk about the plans for day two. It was a, a kind of an easy night, but yes, it, they are always easy when you don't do anything. Day two, my friends, I will have to re relocate. So this is, this is not a solution and I will be moving probably down the road that... Uh, Pub. I think it's a pub. I think the rooftop, it's a very nice spot for us. Ravenhurst, it is a very slow mod. It takes a lot of effort to reach anywhere. And it will be the same principle as we have applied on, the, applied on day one. Which is getting settled down. No need of looting left and right when I have a very limited... Uh, inventory space and I don't have any place to sort my stuff sort and um, and keep it so let's clear the POI and find more trash bags and work from there we also have to complete the quest line go to the trader pick up some quests so it's going to be a very busy day two The morning has arrived, we are still alive. I have some zombos to clear, as usual. It is... Oh, don't break a leg. It is a, a never-ending, ongoing task. Oh, 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 ooh, two blue bags. Oh, my friends, three blue bags. Okay, um, where I have to speak about this. It's, it's very important, it's very important. And it will be 
and it will be my friends very difficult but uh, first let me clear all of these guys and I will speak about you guys and those blue bags in a moment Okay, so when I was starting to record this day too, I did see an update of Ravenhurst. Uh, I, I sadly hadn't the time to update. You should that at the time oh, you should at the time at least when you are watching this episode number two, there should be should be a Ravenhurst uh, version 8.5.3. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? And one of the things it, that it has corrected, it is those blue bags. Those blue bags, throughout the night, you get some boss zombies that will be annoying you throughout the night. And um, when you reach the morning, if you are early game, they will despawn. They will die. And they will die and sometimes they do drop those loot bags. And they shouldn't. They should only drop those blue bags when you kill them. And I think that's what the error corrected, which is you don't get these bags unless unless you kill the zombies yourself. There you go. So for science, ow, ow, ow! Come on, for science, I will pick up the bags. Right. Let's call pick up, let's call pick up these blue bags as a gift from Jax, right? So this is boss zombies that died throughout the night. Boss, ferals. A couple of schematics. I'm not seeing anything really amazing, but well, it's free loot, right? Some, some drumsticks, some shotgun shells. And that's pretty much it. Needle and thread. Oh, better up volume 2? Thank you very much. Any more blue bags? Any more free blue bags? Right? Uh, I I don't I don't think so. So my friends, we have cleared the zombies. We should of course go down the road. And oh, another one. We should go down the road and clear the our future home. Right. And yet another one. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I might, I might not update, right? Who doesn't, who doesn't like free loot bags everywhere? But yes, I, I will upgrade. So next night, the night for, from day two to day three, it should be back to normal. And no, no, no easy loot bags. If I want the loot bags, my friends, I will have to kill the zombies. So to reach the roof of this POI. We do have some stairs outside. I don't remember if, if it has some dogs. Might be annoying. Let's let's start over here. Clear the POI. And get ourselves a, a nice nice way to the roof. Oh someone is someone is using the bathroom. Sorry, sorry. I also don't like to be disturbed while I am while I am having my time. Oh you are locked. So we need access to the back area. But I don't want to be trapped with the dogs. If there are dogs. Of 
of course, right? What the hell, man? What the hell, man? I, I, I knew it was a bad idea, right? I knew that it was a bad idea. Okay. Let's try again. Oh, a broken arm and infected. There you go. This is a challenge and this is those kind of challenges that I like. Come on. Okay. Bye. Oh, oh, no, 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 that stupid, annoying frog. Can, can I call it frog? What the hell is this, man? Will I get each, each episode one of these? Okay. You are dead. Can I heal the... Well, cannot heal anything, but I need, I need, I need some help. There you go, my friends. You guys, you guys, you guys were thinking. It's, it's a very easy start. It's a very easy start of Reveners, right? No, it is not. Well, it was, it was my fault. But now I am starting a playthrough like I like it, which is with all the debuffs if you are a, a, a hardcore player like i am you you need you need this kind of challenge right out up no more debuffs i have enough debuffs there you go so lady 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 i am over here i don't like the lack of attention there you go so i should have Clear this area. There's no more dogs. We have here the stairs. Can I go here? Can I go here? And jump over here. Any crazy shenanigans over here? We might. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Birds? No? No, two zombies. Okay. So this is a proper roof. This is. This is our. My solution for for a temporary base. There you go. You go down. You go down. And we have even here some foul trash bag. Beautiful. Can I can I place? No, no, I cannot. I have to pick it up and throw it on the ground again. There you go. To pick it up. You cannot use the containers. To store stuff on Raveners. There you go. And Throw some stuff inside. Beautiful. I will go here. Also, recipes. Let me get one more of these. Beautiful. You can there. And we are in business, my friends. Now, even if almost costed my life, I think now I have a proper place that I can spend the night crafting, that I can spend the night sorting. It's a very sturdy POI. No way that the zombies will easily break it down, right? Oh, I could have left over there. I am, I am, I am such, such an idiot. There you go. So, okay. Well, it would be an amazing day too, my friends, if if I had uh, avoided if I have avoided the infection. But since I have the infection, it's going to be it might be our first death of Raveners. It might be because of the infection. Okay, so bring the bags upstairs, right? And this is our now I can call it this is our home. Place the bags, beautiful. And my friends, this is a good spot to leave episode number two. We did spend the night, everything was fine and dandy until I got wrecked on this POI. 
And uh, let's see if I can survive the infection, right? It's uh, going up rather fast. Day two, not a lot of resources. Three stamps might not be the, the, the best option. Let's see what we can do. Meanwhile, I also need to move everything from there over here. I do hope you are enjoying Reveners. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, thank you.